The digital divide has always been a reality, but its ongoing impact was brought into stark relief by the pandemic. When we paused the face-to-face -face programs, we realised quite quickly when we tried to get the, the, those participants online that the majority of them did not have a device, did not have any internet. Digital poverty is hitting a lot of people across this country. And the biggest challenge would be to break down the barriers of the fear of turning on a computer. Particularly like the older generation, I suppose for five or six months, we're told don't go out of your home, you know, stuff like that. Um, it's a bit like the old thing of the 18th and 19th century where we had to combat illiteracy. We now have to combat digital illiteracy. The world is technological now. Everything is technology. It's no longer a choice. It's not recreational. It's an essential. Organisations now had to reimagine and adapt if they were going to reach the isolated and disadvantaged within the communities. The nature of engagement across all public services has very much changed um, in terms of it is through um, online facilities, online platforms. There is a digital um, group which came as part of the COVID response uh, working to try and upskill and make people digitally literate. The technology companies need to reach out to older people to make their products accessible, uh, reliable, um, engaging for older people. They need to understand that older folk approach things in a different way. Quite often the people who benefit best from our programmes are those who are struggling. So they didn't have the confidence to use a device, so we needed a very, very easy to use device. At Acorn, we'd long since recognised that age-friendly design was required to bridge the gap and had created an easy to use, highly accessible smart tablet. The design of them which involved older people and consulted with older people, I think was great because it, it meant you started out from a good space. The way you can change it around is nice and I suppose working with somebody on a one-to-one -one, you can set it up for their preferences. I think that's great. The Acorn it makes it simpler because there's less options and less things can go wrong. What we found really good with the Acorn was the mobile data was inbuilt um, so you didn't have this thing where you turn on the tablet and it wasn't working and it can lead to frustration so we found that really really beneficial. This smart tablet became the conduit for the delivery of innovative, inspiring, effective online programs that reconnected people and communities. The difference that's made to our service users who are residents is that they've been able to contact their families and the families have been able to contact them. That was primarily so they were able to have like FaceTime. We've had a participant on the programme that couldn't read or write so we were able to get her up on the programme by speaking to her over the phone by giving her the colour codes of the different options. This was online by using the ACARN device. This way has allowed us to connect to people who had already left groups because they they felt unsafe at night or or a disability and now they're able to link in from their own sitting room we have developed an age friendly calendar of activities, so again that will promote um, content, whether that's from Bealtaine, the libraries are hosting events, the arts, cultural events, whatever events that are tailored towards an, an older adult in Tipperary can be showcased and promoted through directly as a, de as a device and a link onto your Acon device. We've had people go on programmes who haven't spoken to anybody for, to a person for days and did a light on their face when they uh, come on Zoom and see other people is, is actually quite magic, to be honest. Thank you to the organisations and communities who continuously strive to make a difference for all of us. We at ACORN are dedicated to developing solutions which promote social inclusion, health and well-being for all. What ACORN has done has opened the door for people to use tablets in their own home. I know of a singing group online, a um, social group online, and that's just literally meeting to have a chat. They have their knitting group online, they have a gardening session online, we have chair yoga going on, we've cookery classes lined up as well. You're bestowing a value on people by saying, of course you can have technology, you can, you know, why not? Um, and then for them to experience success in using it. People who are in their 70s, 80s and 90s now, I think if they can be given the confidence to know that they can mess with this technology and, and learn through play, um, which is perhaps a novel concept for them, but it, it, that then you can open up a whole world. The world has come into them 
and they are out in the world uh, through this little tablet. Yeah.